Hello everybody, uh, my name is Orlando and this is going to be uh, my first, very first video on YouTube. Uh, so today's video is going to be, uh, I'm going to try to make a homemade wash booth uh, screen printing station. And this is uh, basically, I'm going to have the description of every part that I use and the uh, and where I got it from. So basically I, I went to Lowe's. And I got all the parts that you see here, uh, PVC connections, epoxy glue, uh, some clear tubing, uh, PVC tubing, uh, the descriptions again. I'm going to have it uh, with instructions and step uh, by step on how to, how to make it. Uh, I kind of have an idea. I didn't put anything on paper. Uh, this, I'm going to be using two of these uh, containers. I'm basically going to put one on top of the other, of the other one. I'm going to use the glue uh, to glue them. I'm going to have an opening on one side. That's where the screens are going to fit. And then I'm going to use the PVC uh, tubing to make a base uh, so I can put it on top of that. And then uh, with those connections, I can fit a tubing somewhere on one of the sides of the, of the uh, uh, containers to drain the water so it doesn't get too heavy um, and collapse. Uh, but that's the idea. Uh, once again, I'm going to be uh, pausing and, and adding sections of the video so you guys can see uh, everything that I do uh, to, uh, to put this together and hopefully it works. Okay. First step is going to be making the cut uh, so that we can uh, properly uh, fit the screen in the uh, uh, watch put the station. So right now I'm gonna just I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna cut through. Or, well, first of all, we have to put container on top of each other, and I'm using 20 white by 24 uh, uh, screens, screen printing, and then uh, so the idea or what I'm planning on doing is just making a cut right from uh, this uh, before I cut before I glue everything. Just make a cut right in the from. And I don't think I'm planning on doing it all the way down because I want to make sure I think I can just somehow uh, use the screen to from the top from the top layer uh, if I remove uh, this section right here and everything stay the same then I can contain all the uh, the water because I'm gonna try to use also a, a power washing machine to do this so I don't want um, a lot of water going everywhere and pain so the, the, I want to contain everything so I'm just going to try uh, cutting the first top layer on one of the sides of the containers and before I glue anything I'm going to test it with my screen and make sure that it, uh, it, it gets it, it's easy access to get it in and out and then uh, if that works uh, the next step will be gluing the surface of the entire container with epoxy glue and then uh, move to the next step which is going to be building the base that should be very easy with the uh, quick connection uh, quick connection tubing and, and uh, PVC connections so that will be the next step but let me just work on this and I will uh, I will show you that part of the uh, of the process I just finished uh, making the cut uh, I just use a regular exact knife to cut all around and um, basically I follow the edges of the uh, container design I didn't go all the way to the to the size but I wanted to leave an angle a slope on both sides so I can uh, I can uh, put the screen um, um, so I won't come uh, and, I mean give me trouble but basically this is I think this will work for me uh, I also think uh, I'm gonna be using a uh, power uh, washer so I can probably get from here an angle and it won't be any problem I just don't want any any water to come out and stop so I try to contain everything as I mentioned before so it's uh, I haven't grown anything yet uh, let me just back up so you can see how this looks like uh, two containers on top of each other uh, and then uh, yeah so basically we're gonna we're gonna glue all that but it's, uh, it's pretty good, it looks good, it's looking pretty good. So I can just somehow just get the screen like this, get it out, and then flip it, put it back, and then I can continue with the, uh, with the power wash. Uh, so next step is gonna be, I'm gonna make sure that this glue won't melt 
the plastic. I had used it in other plastics before. Uh, I'm gonna make sure. I'm just gonna do a test on one side. Wait for a few minutes, but I think it, will, it should be able to work. And then uh, I'm gonna glue these these two containers. I'm gonna probably uh, leave it uh, overnight so it can it can properly glue. And then I'm gonna move to the next step, which is cutting. This should be easy cutting the the uh, base for for the uh, support for this uh, assembly. And I will show you uh, how do I did as well. All right, guys. Sorry, I forgot to mention uh, before I glue the top layer and the, and the bottom container I think it will be easier if we place these the waste uh, drainage uh, in place before so I think it will give us more room to actually work with it so basically this this connection I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a hole through probably around this maybe maybe lower maybe an inch or an inch and a half from this from the bottom of the container because I don't want water to get any higher than that and then from the inside, I'm gonna use this coupler, uh, and then the uh, L-shaped connection is gonna go from the outside. And when when I put this together, it's gonna keep it in place. You can also add some kind of uh, silicone glue or some kind of glue to keep it in place if you want. But this is a very tight fit, and I don't think it will give, give me any issue. So basically, this in addition with this tubing, I should be able to get that water and direct that water to a safe place for uh, disposal. Uh, I mean, this is optional. Uh, you can just poke a hole through and then just connect something else, but I thought this one uh, will do the job and will keep the water uh, from leaking there and then just drain it to a bucket or something else, uh, or maybe, you know, uh, any other place. Okay, I just finished, I just finished the cut and uh, you just need to be very careful when you do it because if you cut it, uh, try to go at least uh, two millimeters uh, smaller than the diameter of your connection and then you can just push it um, you know it's gonna take a while to put in but it will you know the plastic will stretch and you will be able to fit it so that way you don't you don't cut too much and then you have problems with this being too the hole being too big for the connection so on this side you have I have the L shape and here I'm gonna connect the tubing and then on the other side you have the other connection and it's very close to the bottom of the of the container so the water won't be able to uh, you know get too high and then the container will, will not be able to get too heavy for the base that we're about to build uh, I just want to show you that um, next step is going to be you can add some glue on this if you want I think that would be a good idea or silicone uh, I might add some silicone on this side and also on this side to you know stop any leaks uh, if any so the idea of that connection was basically uh, to connect uh, this uh, clear tubing and then you can just direct this to another section or where you, whatever you want to dispose of water so that's gonna be for, for this part of the, uh, of the uh, process and then I'm gonna show you uh, now how to build the, uh, the base for the, uh, for the uh, uh, wash booth container all right, I just wanted to show you very quick. Uh, I'm gonna use, I had this already, uh, all-purpose silicone, clear silicone. And then I'm just gonna put around this, uh, outside and also inside, as I mentioned, just to prevent any, any leaks. Okay, I just finished cutting all the pipes uh, and connect everything. So this is how it's looking so far. Uh, I haven't had any any glue on this size they're pretty tight but uh, I mean this is something you guys if it's gonna be permanent permanently you, you I recommend just add some joint glue some kind of epoxy or yeah joint glue so everything you know is steady especially when, when you're using it and if you need to move it but uh, so the other thing is depending on the container that you get so you, you're gonna have to make sure that you cut this you made these measurements right so I just started with the top and then I basically duplicate the frame on the top for the bottom and the height is up to you. I think this is about uh, 35 inches high. I don't want it to be too high. I think this is perfect because I can't just come this level. Uh, when I when I put the screen in, uh, it will be almost, almost perfect. 
so I have it right here and I will just braid in this direction and I can even get into that direction then uh, so like I said I haven't glued anything yet but I will and I will leave it overnight and then uh, right here I already put the uh, silicone clear silicone around on the outside and inside and then uh, I basically will be use the tubing uh, to direct this to, to dispose but I just wanted to show you how everything is looking and then uh, tomorrow when everything is glued um, I might have to also put some silicone on the edges after I glue this uh, but I don't think that's necessary but it, it all depends uh, how, how everything comes uh, okay so so far so good uh, you guys will see this soon but it will be probably about 13-14 uh, hours until I come back again and, and make sure everything is dry uh, to show the final uh, the final project thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon all right so I applied the epoxy glue overnight uh, last night sorry and then I, I let it overnight to dry and then uh, just now I just added clear silicone glue all around the edges outside and inside and that was because I still saw some gaps some gaps in between uh, the two containers so I just wanted to make sure that it was completely uh, sealed so I'm gonna let that dry for a few hours and I just wanted to show you one more thing uh, it's gonna be I know I say it was optional but I, I really I uh, think it would be a good idea just to seal all those joints, all those connections because if you if you pick this up uh, with the container on top you might have some things coming apart so I'm, I'm using the this brand uh, Red Hot Blue Glue for PVC and then uh, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna add that in all, all, all connections and then uh, let that dry as well and then this afternoon I will be uh, testing the container and I will show you the final uh, project, how it looks like. This is it. I just completed the uh, uh, wash booth uh, station and it looks pretty good. I'm very, very happy with the outcome. Uh, all the glue, all the silicone is dry. Uh, everything looks pretty steady. Uh, connection here in the back for the water waste. And then uh, this is this is actually pretty pretty good uh, project. Uh, I was doing some research, and the the cheapest system that I uh, was able to find it was around five hundred dollars, I believe. I only spent around sixty dollars with this. Uh, everything you see here, I bought it from Lowe's, and I already have some clear silicone and, and the uh, PVC glue for the for the corners. But uh, I mean, this is something that you probably already have some of this this material. Uh, it might be cheaper for somebody that already has some of this, but it's, it's pretty good. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Uh, if you like it, please uh, please press the button and then and like it, and then uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, brand new on YouTube. Um, uh, this is my very first video. I was uh, watching the recordings, and I I know I had repeated myself many times and trying to correct that for the future but uh, yeah the idea is just uh, to put some videos where uh, you guys if you're interested in starting your your own t-shirt business sublimation uh, heat transfer vinyl printing uh, this is this is stuff that you can uh, you can watch and learn and have some ideas I can also in the future show you some videos on how I build this rack for the uh, uh, for, the, for the screens and, and I can show you some of my setup uh, here in the garage I only have this part because it's kind of messy, you know, I don't want ink to go inside the house and the, and the floor and the wooden floor so I do that outside but I have one of my bedrooms is in the house is just designed for the uh, for the shop where I have all the electronic equipment, printers uh, heat press and all that that I can uh, show you another day also we'll be making, uh, soon we'll be making more videos on some of the software that are uh, most commonly used for, for this type of uh, process in screen printing uh, so you guys can also uh, learn just like, just like I, I am right now. Uh, if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me, uh, that will be uh, appreciated. You can just uh, send me an email, uh, put a uh, comment in the, in the section below. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Uh, see you next time.